Hello guys, this is TechXrena. Today I'll show you how to install Windows 8.1 on your computer. Windows 8.1 is actually an update to Windows 8. Uh, this was also called Windows Blue initially. So just insert a bootable USB of Windows 8.1 after uh, buying it from maybe the store or someplace Windows offers it to you. And you can just select your language and the keyboard input method and just go next. Um, I already have it installed so I think I can configure it later so I'll just go with install now so here I've entered my uh, product key and we just wait for it to validate and when it does you, ju you, you are supposed to read the terms of uh, the license terms and the whole agreement uh, I'll just say I accept and next and if you already have Windows 8 installed and you don't want to lose all your files etc then I suggest you just go to upgrade otherwise if you want all the advanced settings that um, maybe you want to install everything you want uh, how you want so go with custom I know what I'm doing so I'll just go uh, with custom I have allocated about 60 GB of space to this virtual box so I'll just go with new and then it will automatically create a system reserve disk that will be for system recovery and the other will be for installing Windows 8.1. So just select that as uh, where you want to install and then just go to, go to next. This will take some time copying files and uh, doing the whole bunch of things to install. So I'll just fast forward it to when, it, when, it, when I'm done. So we're almost done. It is asking me to restart so I'll just click on restart right now. and. Well, in case you wonder how I do it, uh, how I capture the boot screen as well, so uh, I do this using VMware. Uh, if you know Oracle, Java, bo uh, VirtualBox, it is mu pretty much the same. So, uh, we are booting in Windows 8.1 for the first time. And um, your screen might flash a couple of times or maybe more, depending uh, on your computer. Uh, first time is actually first time actually takes a lot of time because uh, it has to adjust and configure all the drivers present and uh, you know with me it flashed around like five six times see it flashed right now I guess uh, so it'll take some time and I'll just fast forward it to the menu where it asks me to personalize so I think we are getting ready right now it is also possible that your um, computer might restart but like once or twice but then make sure if it is happening again and again so either you've already um, you've not yet removed the USB after installing the uh, after installing Windows 8 so it's still in the boot sequence and it's loading drivers from uh, loading the data from the USB uh, so be sure that when, once you're done installing Windows 8.1 you remove the USB uh, actually not with Windows 8.1 with any kind of operating system when you install through USB or any kind of external bootable device so just remove it when you're done and this is done I'll just fast, fa fast forward it to the personalized menu so as you can see we reached the personalized menu and now we select what color we want I think I'd go with orange and just go with next right now oh um PC name will be TXC, that's TechX Arena in case you don't know. I'll just go with Express Settings because I don't want to, um, you know, increase, uh, make this longer. This will require internet connection to sync your account with uh, Microsoft. So that way you get all the updates and in case you forget your uh, password, so they can send email to this, maybe email ID, whatever you give. So that's helpful. Or it's another option that you don't sync it to Microsoft and you don't do anything at all. Let's just see if we need to make an account first. I think it's we have to, but let me just see if there's any any other provision there. Ah, uh, okay. So create a new account. I guess there's an option left here. Oh, that's nice. Sign in without a Microsoft account. So you can give your username here and a password, hint, re-enter password, whatever. 
so I'll just not put a password here because uh, this is only for demonstration purposes and this will just finalize your settings and you know flash colors a lot of colors other than tons of colors actually and then your start screen will pop up so I'll just fast forward you to the start screen uh, if, you if you want you can see a few colors in the starting by the way you can get new apps from the store I think you read that you see now it will keep on diffusing colors and etc So I think we're almost done. I just skipped about three minutes of color flashing. Let's start, thank God. Okay, so the start screen looks pretty much the same, only that the boxes, the, the tiles are more square. Uh, and sh okay, this is apps menu now. You can click down button and go to apps menu. Here the uh, tiles have become more square uh, squarish and bigger and you can see uh, in the bottom left you have the start button for for people who love that you can th there's a, I think there's a mod or there's an option where you can still get the start menu in this anyways so you can see uh, this is Windows 8.1 Pro not Windows 8 and you can also identify by uh, the icon at the bottom left okay guys thank you like and subscribe